Hello everyone, welcome to the Sunday afternoon stream. Let's go ahead and switch this over to New Vegas and check our audio. All right, I believe we have both me audio and game audio. So let's get started. Uh, and yes, my guitar Nova, it is quite hot here today. Oh, thank you for confirming on the audio. Much appreciated. All right. Is hot. At the last minute, I was like, oh, iced tea. And then I thought, no. So I made a lazy margarita. So it's going to be a margarita Sunday. All right. So we are kind of uh, working on Eddie's quest a little bit. Um, we have to wait a few days. So I actually have my list of the like hidden quests and things. Um, so I'm going to pull that up and see what kind of mischief we can get into. And after much, much consideration, we had so much fun yesterday and you guys seem to really enjoy the chilled out vibe of I Am Future. So I have added I Am Future to the streaming schedule. Um, I carved out an extra time slot now if i do have to fulfill mandatory overtime for work that will be the first stream to get canceled so just as a heads up okay so i think we found a place called um thorn Uh, okay, so we've actually found, um, we've actually found Thorn. Oh, and we found the bean. Oh, hello, Miss Ripley Bean. She was sleeping. Hi, just don't shut off the stream today, okay? <laughs> uh, so yeah. Good morning, sweet girl. Or I guess good afternoon. As long as she's good, she can hang out. Someone finally put down that sick motor runner, son of a bitch. Yeah. Hi, baby. No kissies? Okay. All right, let's go to our map here. Um, so we found Thorn, like, near the strip. And it was locked, so I think, let's see. So I don't know when this will let us in. All right, it will now. Guys, I forgot how to, there we go. <laughs> Every game is different. I'm playing too many things right now. All right, that looks like I get enough ammo. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Oh, I know what it is. It's because I use seltzer. So she's like, oh, this is sparkly sounding. Have you come to give everyone kisses in the chat? Is that what's happening here? She likes to chin the chat. <laughs> No, I don't think so. That's for me. That's for me. Right, there we are. Okay. We're going to put this away. We don't want to be hostile right off the bat. Uh, so let's put our little handsies away. If the NCR ain't got to worry about Caesar oh, excuse anymore, me, Miss Ma'am. I don't think so. Regular folks around here. here. Is that your mousie? 
Uh, I don't know what's changed over the last couple weeks where she just has needed to really be involved much more with what's going on here, but I guess it's what it is. It's her house too. Alright, so I think this is some kind of fighting arena, um, which kind of makes sense given when... Oh, no, 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 that's the audio cable. We can't be doing that today. Up you go. Um, considering when this was made uh, with respect to Oblivion, it kind of makes sense. Ripley, you will have to... All right. Sorry, guys. She will have to come back when she's got fewer rowdies in her system. All right. Hmm. Do we get our... Oh, no. This one opens. I was like, no, there's no way out without a key. We're going to have to fight to the death. There we go. There's a name for I person. remember if I had seen you here before. I'm sure of it. What do you want? Um. Uh, what is this place? The clamor of our bloodthirsty crowds reaches every corner of the wasteland. But I'll pretend that your ignorance doesn't offend me, stranger. This is the thorn. Here's where the strong make a name for themselves. And the weak are fed to the jaws of hell. You can bet on the contenders. Or, if you have what it takes, be one of the contenders. Be warned. The thorn demands respect. Break the rules, or offend me in any way, and I'll gut you open for all to see. Oh, I like her. Uh, tell me more about it. What do you want to know? What are the rules? The rules are simple. My creatures fight for our pleasure. You can bet on a contender, and earn double if you choose the victor. But you can get a bigger share if you risk your skin in the thorn. Win a fight, and I'll give you a meaty cut she of She keeps enemies. talking about meat and creatures. I won't tolerate anyone that interferes with the fights. Offend me, and your blood will be the next to spill. Other than that, anything goes. Who's fighting in the next match? Deadly Night Stalkers will now fight for our pleasure. Um... I have other questions for you. I'm listening. Uh, tell me about you. What's on your mind? Oh, dirty. How did you become master of the thorn? The thorn is my master, not the other way around. I live to make our kin able to transcend their limitations. Our land is harsh and hostile. Our lives are cheap and fragile. Death is our sure fate. Strike him when least we expect it. The thorn awakens us to the truth. Here we escape from our bonds and choose the moment of death against the will of destiny. Wow, wow, we are really horny for this lady. Oh my goodness. Uh, what are, what, what's your take on the affairs of the Mojave Wasteland? The land does not care about petty squabbles among lesser men. I don't care about that either. In the end, the people of New Vegas will continue to live and die here. It matters not who their self-appointed master is. There's nothing lesser about what I... Oh! Oh, no. Uh, should we save? So long, stranger. Should we save and fight in a match? I think that could be fun. Welcome back, stranger. Let's talk about the thorn. Oh, question about Westside. Ask and you might get an answer. Is Westside part of New Vegas? New Vegas has many faces, stranger. Despite everything, it shall never be whole. 
when the land hunts you, when fighting for survival is the norm. I wonder how much he's actually been out in the wastes. Either saviors or enemies. West Side is a part of New Vegas, just as much as it's a part of the wasteland. In the end, stranger, we need them both to continue making our fate. How many people here managed to survive? West Side attracts all sorts of travelers, including merchants and farmers. They come here to exchange their goods or to seek protection. Our community provides enough food, clothes, weapons, and medicine to encourage trade and to arm our defenses. The Thorn demonstrates, beyond anything else, that we're self sufficient. Our desert blood has overcome even the strongest beasts of the wasteland. Um, all right. Let's talk about something else. I'm listening. All right, let's talk about the thorn. What do you want to know? Who's fighting? Uh, do you have custom matches? My creatures are expensive to find, expensive to raise, and expensive to maintain. If your pleasure is to see them bleed at your will, I'll oblige only after my costs are covered, stranger. Those costs will change depending on your choice of fighters. Also, I'll only allow fair fights in the thorn. I'll help you set up good matches. You pay, you bet, and I bring you the most delightful spectacle on this world. Are we clear? Who's fighting in the next match? We're lucky to have some Cazadors in uh, the next no. match. Uh, let's bet 20 on bread. You got it. Best of luck and enjoy the carnage. Starting combat. Just kidding. How do we know which is which? It'd be cool if there was like the ticks that show us like we're, cre you know, we're, okay. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. But wasn't that the fight? Is it best two out of three or something? Well done, stranger. Okay. Here's your share. All right. What's the next Welcome one? Back, stranger. All right. What do you uh, want to who's in the next fight? We're lucky to have some Casado. Um, let's play on blue this time. You got it. Best of luck. So red, blue. I think that Casador just teabagged the other Casador. So I think we have to wait till the body, yeah. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. Okay. Now let's try it. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. I just don't really want to well, fight I'm a Casador, that's all. What do you You're paying for it. What'll bleed today in the thorn, stranger? Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, let's just do it. How many? Two. What'll fight on blue? Um. Giant red scorpion and regular red scorpion. The thorn's thirsty for blood. Pay my costs and the fight will begin in earnest. Here's the money. You got 240 it. caps. Good luck and enjoy the carnage. I don't know what we're doing, so this is wild. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. 
I s oh, well, the Bloodstalker won. Not talk. Find me after the fight. Well done, stranger. Okay. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. What do you want to know? Rad scorpions. The okay. Crowd loves those. I want to fight in the thorn. And I won't stop you, stranger. What's the name of your death wish? Um. Yeah, we'll we'll fight giant rad scorpions. Let's see what you've got. How many can you take on, stranger? Let's do two. Confident. I like that. Get to your cage and ready your arm. What am I doing? What on earth am I doing? Um. Hold on. Okay, I think we'll stick with the 44. Hi guys, welcome to the stream. We are doing a cage match uh, with rad scorpions. Time to fight. All right. Bad guys dealt with. All right, where's Ruby? She's down there. This place sucks. <laughs> but I get it. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Okay. Welcome back, stranger. Okay. So, so I think it's stranger. just a place to like farm money, which is totally fine. I was I thought there was like an actual quest to go with this place. Um So, we might just come back. Okay. Uh, that works for me. That was interesting. We might come back here to see if it, like, initiates an actual, like, quest. I think we're just supposed to find animals for her, but I thought it'd be cool finding this place. Especially since we... <clears throat> Actually found the location last week. Oh, I am schwitzing today. Hmm. That tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles. I think we're in a no-no area. We're definitely in no-no area. Ooh, don't step in the water. Are we being watched? Uh, maybe. It was easy to get in here. Getting out is a whole other deal. But this kind of tracks because of like when New Vegas um, released and of course like Oblivion also, um, had, like, an arena. Oh, look at these folks. Judah Krager. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. 
What brings you to West Side? Uh, what do you do here? I help tend the crops, stand watch for fiends, and generally help keep things civilized. How long have you lived here? A couple of years now. I was a trader for a while, but got tired of all the walking. West Side was a good place to settle down as any. Bye. Uh huh. And unnamed person. I hear reports of Legion raiding parties all over the place. I can't all. Hey. Mean son of a bitch. Hi again. What's a super mutant doing in a place like this? Okay. I was kind of hoping eventually he would give us like a quest. Um, I really like those guys. <laughs> the super mutants. I like them. Okay. Let's go back to Prim. Because I think I would like to take out... Pardon me. I would like to take out all of the... Um, there's that like prison up here. I think it'd be cool to just take everyone out and just get those guys out of here. And I think, let's see, Vicky and Vance, sorry. What are you doing here? This is our casino, punk. Punk? That's my line. Huh. You've got moxie, buddy. But we don't take kindly to tourists on our turf. 100 caps should cover this trip into our territory. Your turf? I guess the news hasn't reached you. Prim has law again. Fuck. We lose again. We heard Prim was ripe for the picking, so figured we could come here and shake down some of the suckers. We weren't expecting a sheriff here. We're just trying to put as many miles from NCR as we can. We don't want to be anywhere near New Vegas when the Legion crosses the river. Ooh. Doesn't sound like things have gone to plan. Our luck has gone south since we lost all of our money gambling in Vegas. We didn't go AWOL from duty to become raiders, but we've seen what the Legion does to people that survive their battles. We wanted to be gone before the fighting starts. And we heard there may be some safety up in New Canaan. Why not just turn yourselves in? No fucking way. We're deserters now. The NCR isn't gonna throw us a ticker tape parade for going home. Well, they do have a few more troops than the four of you. No biggie there. We've been avoiding the patrols and staying low key until this mess. It would be safer to run and find some place to hide. Maybe you're right. Come on, boys. Let's get the hell out of here before the law shows up. Move along, please. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Um, bye. Happy trails, partner. So, I guess we just got rid of the riffraff. Okay, so there's a camp here, and there's the NCR uh, correctional facility that's been taken over. I'm gonna say, let's go, uh, let's go clean out some powder gangers. Gotta be careful; they 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 do like their explodies. I don't actually know if we can go out the back way here, but we're gonna try. Oh my goodness, do you remember early on trying to like maneuver around this roller coaster? Um, because like, we're so squishy. And I was like, oh, I gotta get the high ground. I mean, it's not a bad plan, but like, oh, it took forever. I mean, we're still squishy, but like, not that bad. Let me just check something real quick. How are we doing on our audio? How are we doing on our audio? Okay. 
since Ripley was playing with the cables, you never know. This might be completely closed in. I really like when there's like sewers and stuff. I don't know. I just, that tickles my fancy since I do like playing rogues. Um, frequently when my group plays like a tabletop and, uh, well, that's what we play, but, um, whoop, that was, whoop, finger slipped, just a skosh. Um, okay. I don't think there is. It's up there. Hmm. Let's just take a look. Um, without fail, if I'm the rogue, I'm always like, is there a sewer? Is there a basement? Is there... <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of my deal. Uh, when we play Seven Days, not an RPG, but you know, if we have to do like, um, you know, uh, clear the zombies or find the loot, whatever, it's always like, I'm just going to like nerd pull to the top and work my way down. First of all, the, the best stash is always either in the attic or in the basement, but a lot of the like POIs are set up that like floorboards collapse and, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, with that in mind, is this a dead end? This is definitely a dead end. Okay. I'm going to fast travel to the big front of Prim and then we'll just go around. Um, I do like being able to control like just dropping down onto the zombies versus the other way around. Um, and you know, I mean, Anakin, I have the high ground. Is that, is that not like the best way to do this? Um, so yeah, anytime I play RPG into the basement, into the sewer, onto the roof, it's yeah. Um, balconies like, uh, Assassin's Creed style. Love it. So I do wish there was more of that here. I think I was most frustrated, uh, when we were doing the, uh, old world blues, the Sierra Madre DLC. And it's like, you could see all these balconies, but not all the doors were real. They didn't really connect to things, but it's like, I wanted them to be okay. That's not like a real cactus. So I'm sneaking because I'm not hundred percent sure we won't find clusters of powder gangers out here but this is the, this is the plan, uh, because we have to, um, wait a few days, um, before we can go back, um, about Eddie's quest. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to see how many powder gangers we can take out. <sighs> Lazy margarita was a good choice. It's like 40 degrees today don't love it. I didn't even pick like a really stealthy character for this. It's, it's mostly been charisma. At some point we will have to try to seduce someone just for the mere fact that we've taken so many, um, charisma perks. I don't know. It's like, what is that feeling? For whatever reason, these shorts have the longest drawstring I've ever seen on a pair of shorts, even compared to like the really long one that like men's sweatpants have. I don't know. It's just really long drawstring and that has nothing to do with anything, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we, I guess at some point I'll have to attempt to seduce someone. I'm just not really into it. It feels like, I don't know. It feels icky, uh, in an RPG. 
Um, hmm. Okay. Now I think we're coming up on the camp. I was just wondering if there's anything back here. Every faction seems to have a stash, so. Okay. Is that the... I'm loving the fact that my 44 has a scope, though. Stick a scope on anything. I wish my flamethrower had a scope. That would be cool. Not that you really need precision, but it does feel a little bit like lobbing fiery water balloons um, in terms of, like, the mechanism. Okay. No one down here by the train tracks. A little surprising. But we did run them out of town. And I guess the question is, have we seen the last of the death claws too because that's a very real thing this one looks pretty tough all right going around the rock Ooh, open pools of radioactive material fighting over fighting's not over girlfriend wait a minute I think my hotkeys are all screwed up. So it doesn't look like there was really anyone in this camp, but I bet they can see me from that tower. Some of these big rocks have invisible barriers, but that is generally my preference. Get up on a rock and just start, like, picking them off. Is this one of those mesquite trees? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do only... you like me? I bet we went, we went into the casino, all my hotkeys got screwy. Okay, so we have a 44, the three, the 357 has a lot of ammo. Is it the same ammo as the light and shining darkness? It's not, that's a 45 auto, okay. Three, okay, so four is not assigned. Um, we're gonna do the cowboy repeater for five. Eight should always be the incinerator. So what are we gonna pick for six? What has a ton of ammo? Uh, six should be the stealth pistol. I like it. Ooh. Ooh, that just, that, okay, well, it's not too hard getting in there. Okay. Let's grab the sniper rifle and see who we can find. We know there's people because something saw us. I don't know, maybe it's just sound effects in the, like, in the actual game itself. Hmm. That was weird. I wasn't expecting that. Why is there no one in the tower? Okay, 
Okay, we gotta be careful. Apparently floating charges are a thing. Alright. We're gonna take this place, I'm telling ya. Question is, can we shoot through the barbed wire? Seems like a dumb question, but until recently, you couldn't uh, shoot through like the holes and grates and stuff and excuse me in seven days so at least not without a mod okay. these are inside because I didn't think that we had completely cleared out their faction I don't think that's truly a thing I knew there's somebody. Okay. And they are in red. All right. Fighting now. Someone up there? Yeah. Powered rifle, I will say that. Okay. Who else do we have? I was gonna say, there's no way that, that we cleared out the powder gangers just by kicking them out of two towns. I feel like they're a little like cockroaches that way. Oh, it's a skull. I'm looking for more of those floating charges, you know? That's all. Yeah, no, girlfriend. I don't think that's all. Hmm. Whirlwinds, huh? Hi, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Happy hot Sunday. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go up against the fence, see what we can find. Hi, Babus. Oh, are you okay? Oh my goodness. You're a nut. She's getting the zooms. I can feel it. Do you like me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi. You wanna hang out? You wanna hang out? A lot of fencing here. All right, Ripley, I need you to use your keen kitty sense here for the bad guys. Where are the bad guys? Do you want to tell everyone how you ran through the house and we thought there was an emergency and it was just you trying to fight a little tiny female mosquito? Yeah? Thought that there was someone trying to break in. It was just a mosquito. Alright. You can stay as long as you don't start biting 
stuff to get attention. Here. What are these? Are those your favorite? Oh, yeah. Of course I bribe my cat. Tell me you don't bribe your kids and your pets. There's an old, Dave, um, there's no, um, Dana Carvey stand up where he talks about his Irish dad and how his dad, dad is of the opinion that, um, you know, children are easy. You just uh, put some, some peanuts in your pocket and you just give them a few every once in a while. Down. I think now. No. Where'd you go? Ah, oh, there you are. Okay, come on. So I don't think bats works great through the... Oh my goodness, you did not eat all those treats that fast, did you? You're gonna give yourself hiccups. Oh my goodness. Baboos. Hi. You getting jealous? Are you getting jealous? For you. That's not for you. There. <clears throat> don't cry. Uh, I don't know if I looted this guy. I do uh, kind of think it's funny. Oh! I'll take that. I like a good uh, security Bad key. Guys dealt with. Bad guys are not dealt with, girlfriend. I don't really, I don't know if the voice actually has a name, so. Girlfriend, homegirl, sweetie. That's just what it's going to be. Sneaking done. Fighting now. Ooh, okay, we're leaving. Side. I'm gonna loot your friends. Bottle caps. I think she gave up. load. I wasn't supposed to shoot him. think that's actually the sheriff. Uh-oh. Woo! Man, you guys like your dynamite. that all we just survived like okay I'm gonna take all of that and that single shotgun man okay we got something better than that all right Let's 
Let's talk. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Uh, what did you end do before you end up incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not. For a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Tell me about what happened in the prison. I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Who's Cook? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. Where do I find him? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. Uh, why are you still here? I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. Who's in charge of the Powder Gangers? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Bye. Watch yourself out there. Take some of that. Check all cords and connections. Okay. Guess that's fine by me. Alright, I don't need any of that. Ever since we did, um, we played, um, the uh, Old World Blues DLC, I've been very, very wary about, um, radios, even though I don't have that collar on anymore. All right. I don't know what I was expecting in here. Maybe just like a single large... Okay. <laughs> I've gained karma. Is that all? I have no idea where Boone and Eddie are, though. <laughs> Commit all the crimes against criminals. myself. Alright, there's no one in here. I wonder if Eddie and Boone got caught on some of those rocks that I was jumping on. That's a very real possibility. Okay, I'm I'm all for this scope action here. Hannigan. Name character. Might have been a dumb idea. But so is being a powder ganger, so I'm just gonna throw that out there. Ah, uh, he's got powder ganger armor. I don't care about him.
So, we are already here. So just... Hmm. I wonder if we could get him, like, clothes or something. So... Oh, this is where I want to go. Ooh, those are oxygen tanks. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. of him. Actually, all this is fine. Um. Okay, those are steps. Hey, hey. Evening. Ready, steady, righty. Bodyguard, huh? Cessation of hostilities complete. How much does this thing wait for? All right. You like that? Please take this. I don't want you to die. No more Eddie, I guess. Fighting over. Maybe I'll take the psycho? I don't know. Alright, we got some stuff to repair here. Administration key. Okay, let's check out our inventory real quick. All the way to the top. All right. Ah, uh, I hear Ripley giving someone the business. Their prerogative. Um. Sunset Sarsaparilla has definitely helped us through some pickles, so. I'm here for it. Was that one of my dumber firefights? Absolutely. Ooh. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lose all the karma. I don't even really want it, but, like, I kind of feel like I gotta take it. I really don't like these guys.
empty. Um, is that fancy, fancy lass up there? Hey, giraffe, welcome to the stream. Um, we have, uh, we're clearing out the NCR prison of all the powder gangers. Guard transfers to the east. They're transferring away three more of my men. They're telling me it's all to keep the situation at the dam under control. But what about this place? The situation here has become dangerous for my men, and I... I know it. My men know it. And the prisoners know it. It's only a matter of time before something happens. I've seen the reports of the so-called Kaiser's Legion. It sounds like they're just another bunch of raiders, but the higher-ups back west seem to think they're a serious threat. Something's going on, and I'm sure that Cook is behind it all. No evidence yet, but something just feels off. About Quick. Cook. He's quite popular among the young prisoners, and many of them seem to have been taken in by his anti-NCR dogma. Cook's group are all model prisoners, especially Cook himself. They don't fight, and they always do what they're told. They make me nervous, and I have them watched every second of every day if I could. James, you and I served together for seven years, and I'm calling in a favor. I need you to convince General Oliver to stop transferring my men out of here and to deliver the replacements I was promised. I'm expected to put these prisoners to work, making new rail lines and fixing the existing ones, but I can't do that if I don't have any guards to keep an eye on them. Does the general really expect the handful of men I have left to be able to keep several dozen hearted men in line? You owe me for that one time in Modoc. Don't let me down. Nathan. Okay. Well, I think we kind of have an idea of what happened here. Oh, this stuff will sell. Um... Oh my gosh. Peaches. If that's not like the thumbnail for this week, I don't know what is. Peaches. I love it. I wonder who that is. See if I can get my cursor in a good place. Yes, peaches. I love it. I want to know who that was, though. I mean, obviously, like, president of something. Is this a. That's an empty one. I want an empty bottle. Um, I, I bet no one has ever been as unnoticed as me. I honestly think this is everything here. And somewhere along the line, we lost Eddie and um, Boone, but I'm not tremendously worried about them. I think I got them caught on some rocks, so. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's see if there's anything we can... Um, repair here. I don't see anything. Okay. I'm going to save obsessively since we did have a crash last week or the week before. It was last week. <sighs> All right. Um, I don't know if I want to drink irradiated water. Um, yeah.
Oh, you can hear the rust, rusty metal, like, just kind of creaking underfoot. I don't love it. Super stim packs. Ah, oh, someone was getting a little rowdy up here. Does that look like a cave to you guys? It looks like a cave to me. Oh, it's so rusty. Oh, it makes me nervous. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has uh, has delved into it, um, but Mr. B and I started playing Boulder's Gate, Boulder's Gate 3 this week. We're trying to get a kind of accustomed to the new... Uh, new controls and stuff so um i'm hoping still to to warm him up to the idea of maybe streaming it later on down the road so um which brings me to me and caves every game yeah you're right i freaking love caves they're the best um it might not have been a cave it might have just been a graphical glitch i can't tell it's like one of those things where like um like an optical illusion where you can't tell if something is like facing in or out take all of that i do not want your iguana on a stick or water i don't think i've ever seen just dirty water out in the world or it's just like written in crayon um yeah but anyway, uh, so because we had so much fun yesterday, I, I think, you know, we are going to be playing I Am Future for a while as long as, um, you know, work permitting and all that stuff. Uh, and I'm maybe I will hold on to that time slot on Saturdays in case I can get um, Mr. B or possibly even Mama T to, I don't know, play something a little collaborative. I think that'd be fun. So... Try to get as creative as possible, making time for my peoples. So, however, I need to do that. <laughs> it's like in a dirt pile. They're like, no, but you stole that, though. I'm like, yeah, well, you just like left it in the rubble, so that's on you. Gotta be careful with the charges though, because there was that like floating one. Take all that. Take your caps too. I shall take all your caps and I believe I just stole a fork as well. A lot of porta potties and a lot of irradiated water they're just sitting in. Okay, uh, I think I got all but that one and this one. All right. So that's kind of what we were waiting for. Mmm, iguana bites. I bet no one has ever been as unnoticed as me. Oh, shush your face. Oh, shush your face.
Oh, I got three back out of some empty tanks. Here, let's talk to this guy. Need to talk about something? Bye. Yeah, I guess Watch this is the guy we're actually supposed to get to, like, run the town, but... I'll turn that back on for him. I wonder if we, uh, if we find real clothes in the world that don't say like, was it NCRCF? Um, I think we should try to bring them back to him to see if he can just be on his way. Ready, steady, fighting. But like, what though? Oh. Oh. I did say I didn't check that tower. Who's there? No one. Totally was like, oh, I haven't checked these two and then didn't check those two. I checked the one. Dude, is this programming just to run away? Maybe. All right, let's go around this wall. Nary a powder ganger shall remain. Ooh. Missed that loot. Did he run down and I totally missed him? I think I did. I'm going to find you. I'll find you. I'm gonna steal all your stuff. Got enough. Yep. Well, let me use vats through the railing. There we go. Do I even want to know what's going on here? The percentages aren't good. Okay, now is that everyone? I don't know. Hello. Hi. <laughs> You're so friendly. All right. So I'm hoping if I fast travel to Prim, that maybe a uh, boon will catch up with us then. Hmm. Beep boops.
Can you help me? Hmm. That's kind of cool. We got some upgrades with Eddie. But where on earth is Boom? Are these all the guys I walked by the last time? Uh oh. I did swing pretty wide around here, so I don't know. Where the heck is Boom? Oh, they're. I must have gotten Boone stuck on a rock or something. There's a lot of red blips all of a sudden. There's a fire up there. There's something up here. Bad guys dealt with. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. This one looks pretty tough. Was that all? Ready, steady, fighting. Infamy game. Was that all? But where the actual heck is Boone? Uh oh. I don't think we killed Boone or anything like that. Um, I think we'd know. That is a camp though. Oh, is that Caesar's Legion? Sneaking done. Fighting now. Oh, there's quite a few of them. I'll take it. I'll take the arm. Hi guys, welcome to the stream. Uh, I misplaced Boone, and in the process, we're getting attacked by um, 
Legion, um, Um, we're getting taken over by some legion assassins. assassins. Although there's some poor Spice who's taking all the hits. He really is, though. Look at him, poor guy. Oh, look. Ready, steady, fighting. Gonna hide behind this mesquite tree. Guys, stealth rip. There we go. Yeah, Eddie is adorable. I would take our new friend uh, some clothes, but these guys just have stupid, like. Stupid armor. Oh, hey, I think we can uh, repair with that. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the stream. We are, uh... oh, yeah. We uh, just cleared out the NCR prison. Eddie is back with his repair, so we have finished his quest, I believe. Um, so now we just gotta find where the heck Boone went. I did do a lot of like jumping on rocks and stuff. Wow, okay, I am not paying attention at all. This is literally like a powder ganger camp. I don't want to hurl. Let me just walk through and just not look at anything. Who do you think is cuter? Dr. Klein oh, girlfriend. or Dr. Boris? We're not going to do that today. So... Okay, let's just look at this map for a second here. South camp, all right. So somewhere here, we lost Boone. <laughs> we also finally um, rescued the sheriff who I think we were supposed to actually put in charge. There we go. Um, there must be someone up there. See a lot of eyeballs on the ground. I don't love that. All right. So I did see something that I thought might be a cave. I don't know if it's actually a cave, but we'll find out. Cause you know, I like caves. I don't know what it is. All the best stuff's inside. I gotta clean my mouse pad. I keep, every time I, sh the last like two weeks I've been streaming, I keep thinking, oh, I need to clean my mouse pad. It's got like little crumbs from cat treats. It's got like <laughs> coffee and tea stain, like the rings on there. And uh, I'm looking on my ca my compass down here to see if I see a yellow strip because I assume that would be Boone. Um, so yeah, all sorts of tea and coffee stains. I'm like, I need to wash this. And then I'm like, oh, I have this other thing I need to do. Oh. There are more powder gangers? Coyotes? 
that does not look like a cave. Is there a way up here? No, it looks just like stone. Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. We are trying to locate Boone. I misplaced him. I think I got him caught on a rock somewhere between Prim and the NCR prison. And I would like him back, please. But we got some red blips on the compass here and I think we should uh, deal with that. Also, I'm super in love with having a scope on this 44. It's great. Wait, maybe that is a cave. Lost Lydia with some rocks once. Hedy's called so commands to get her back. Oh, whatever. If I lost Lydia, I just leave her. Except for the fact that I guess, like, you kind of... She's still in your service, so you can't get another companion until... Technically, it's impossible to overdose on painkillers. What did I... I did not mean to do Ready? that. Steady. Fighting. Oh, I think we made some, some friends here. Oh, and rad scorpions. So that does look like a cave. Okay. I understand like some people got a thing for Lydia and Serana and I find them as annoying, if not more so, so as Fandal. I just can't, I just can't. It's just, I mean, if you want like a spicy Skyrim waifu, then it's gonna have to be either Gorza or Janessa for me. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. What am I saying? Absolutely not. <laughs> I always marry Gorza. I love her. She's great. Alright, well, maybe if we, like, move through enough doors and fast travel enough, maybe we'll find Boone. Maybe. We'll eventually make our way back to Prim. I'll just go the long way and see what we can find on the way. Can't believe I wasted a medics on nothing. Oh, hold on. What are we cautioning here? I don't see red blips. Well, I see a cave or something. What is this? Is this actually a thing? There's no door here, though. Psst. If you want to be sneaky, turn off your pit boy light. Oh, shush your face. Ew, what is this sludgy stuff? I don't like this. Uh, okay. Okay. Man, I don't know. So, on the map, it shows a powder ganger camp east and south, which implies west and north, right? Which implies loot. I'm just, I'm just saying. I like loot. Unless, of course, the, the prison counts as west, so I don't actually know. 
Well, let's start heading back and see if we can find our boy on the way. This doesn't happen to be a rad scorpion. No, it's a bark scorpion. I think we're supposed to get rad scorpion, I don't know, sacks or something to give um, Vicky, I think it is, uh, Vance and Vicky, uh, to make us some kind of casserole. Maybe we're just getting warnings for this stuff. I don't know. I mean, it's not like I haven't stepped over a few explosives on the way. Because of course I have. So part of it is I did off-road a little on the way and I jumped over some rocks and I don't know if that's something Boone could have kept up with. So. It just keeps saying caution and I don't know why. which implies either a ton of baddies or just one really big one. I don't know if I'm willing to take on some kind of wasteland dragon or something. Oh. You know, I think I did jump over a few, few rocks over here, too. Hmm. All right. Uh, maybe it was just the whole... Oh, I was going to say, maybe it's just the whole prison, but we got some friends up here. Is it four I'm looking for? No. Three? Six? Good boys and girls, take their medics. Okay, I do like the silence pistol. It just doesn't have as... I don't know. I do like the big boomies with the 44. But I am running out of ammo. Well, dang. Do you like me? Um, thought maybe if I looked at a local map, it would kind of tell us because it shows Eddie. All right, well, I got my list of other hidden quests. Okay, so I'm just going off like a listicle here. Okay, Aerotech Office Park located north of Repcon HQ. Okay. Um, that sounds pretty good. Uh, man, I can't believe I lost Boone. I think it's not the first time I've done it, though, like, to be quite honest. Um, I've lost him in the waste a few times, so it's not that surprising. Okay, well, let's save and uh, let's check out um, where are we going? Ripcon, Mule Shack. Okay. 
can't remember if Ripcon HQ is separate than Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's just All right, let's head to Repcon. We'll see what happens. This one oh. looks pretty tough. Every time, man. I need to stop fast traveling into this location. I really do. Holy crap, they're fast. You know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna forget that happened. Okay, cool. What did I just do? Alright. So, we're going to Repcon, which is here. Let's go to Novak. <laughs> Besides, we can see if uh, Boone just unstuck himself. And it just came back here. I think they do have a certain amount of programming where if they get stuck, they just kind of return to a place, but we'll see. I mean, we know where we lost him. I know where I lost him. Hi, right, Cliff. Oh, well, Manny, so... Well, we're in Novak, so that's good. So that's Helios one, that's Repcon. So it's said to the north, so we'll see. I figured we do a few of these. Probably not all the hidden quests, but I figure um, it would be fun. Yeah, I think that's like the only Repcon facility, unless you guys know something I don't. But we're gonna go, we're gonna follow this road and then we're gonna veer north because uh, Repcon is spicy. What can I do for you? Um, can you heal, heal my radiation? Are you sure? You won't be able to read in the dark as well. I like okay. her sense of humor. And remember, if this doesn't help, try taking a bath in tomato juice. Does that just, like, fix everything? What can I do for you? Um... Gotta get going. Bye. She hasn't paid me. Oh, that's funny. The music change for this biome. I really like it. Hmm. Alright. Cause that's Helios over there. Let's just let's just check it out. Like I said, if we find a rad scorpion, I think we have to take whatever its drop is. I don't know if it's some kind of poison pouch or meat or whatever um, back to Vicky for the casserole. I know it's not like a real thing, but I don't know. We're so close to the end as far as I know that might as well. All right, let's see here. All right, I 
think this is not going to be any easier. <laughs> uh. I'm also a little wary because, you know, I feel like these are the sorts of places where we end up getting uh, overwhelmed by like death claws and that kind of stuff. What's this though? Is this on our map? What's this place? Oh, it is Gibson Shack. I guess it makes sense since the scrapyard's over there. We got some friendlies up ahead. Is that Black Mountain? Not really sure, actually. Probably should have just gone to Scorpion's Gulch, but. I'm a little stubborn. Just skosh. Uh, so next episode of ARC, you guys will see my first attempt. Once again, I've wrote Mr. B in for an adventure I don't know if he asked for, but um, to tame a titanosaur. Um, like I said, first attempt, no one died. Uh, not, not like really, not at least not. Okay. Technically Mr. B died once, but it's because, uh, he fell off. What is this? An unfriendly is what that is. Where's that? Maybe this is where we're supposed to be going, especially since there's so many red blips. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Rad Scorpion. I just said we needed one of these. I've only killed a hundred out of a thousand for that uh, achievement. Oh, hey. All right, let's grab that. And when at some point, yeah. Oh, we'll get ourselves some casserole. Now I'm excited. I, you know what? If, if nobody died, it might be all right to try once. Uh, it's probably one of those things where you just gotta have to cook it all the way through. And there's plenty of regular food that you need to cook all the way through. Kind of like, like, don't just like grab all, um, almonds raw and eat them off like the tree um that will kill you uh or at least make you very miserable and very sick um and bitter almond is toxic <laughs> but yeah no there's plenty of stuff we eat that like is not that's man-made Cause we had to run this gauntlet of scorpions to get to the brotherhood of steel. Oh, what is this? All right. I, that's kind of exciting.
I've said it before, I'll say it again. I do appreciate when games reward you for your curiosity. Like, give me, give me a duffel bag and a weird nook and cranny. Like, give me a weird fetch quest. Um, I love that stuff. This will stop the pain. This one looks pretty tough. Maybe she'll buy, buy the other poison glands from us too. And I think we just ended up in Scorpion's Gulch anyway. We did, okay. So, but supposedly between like here and here. Fighting over. Our... So between here and here should be that guy's like caravan set up. We're also a lot stronger than the last time we came through here. So there's also that. Ready? Ready. Fighting. Was that all? Oh my god, there's it's so big. It has so many poison glands. Ready? Steady. Fighting. Alright. There we are. Yes! Go! Hostilities complete. However, I know, like, I no the big braggy thing doesn't do it without a me. scope, but I don't care. It's fun. It's gratifying. Alright, so where are we? So we are now halfway between... I don't even know what you can make with this stuff. Because I've been really bad at, like... <laughs> crafting. We crafted a little bit when we were in uh, Utah for um, for the caravan thing, the uh, expedition. And then we crafted quite a bit when we were um, doing Old World Blues. So... So let's head north first, and if we don't find the guy, then we'll head back south. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? We fight some scorpions, we get some XP, uh, yeah. I've been mulling it over, and I think, despite it being like a no-win situation, I do want to finish... Um, the, uh, the quest outside of, what is that, um, in New Vegas, where you have to, like, find the source of the radiated water and you realize that there's no saving anyone. Does that look like a, can't tell if that's a rock or a tent. Guess I'm about to find out. Uh, is that actually Re Black Mountain? Hidden Valley? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's Black Mountain, and that's Neil's Shack. Uh, I guess south now, because, like, I don't see anyone camped out over here. 
but I guess we can get a little XP while we're just hanging out. I will see little scorpion butts. Ooh. Centaurs. Ah, uh -oh. uh, That's all. I forgot about centaurs. Oh, we are going to have so much radiation poisoning. Hold on. I got, I got stuff for this. Aid. Um, first of all, we're going to do that. Time to fight. That one had a name though. That feels bad. Sneaking done. Fighting now. That's all. I don't know what I expected to find here, but that wasn't it. Okay. So... Definitely not to the north. I guess we'll go around this rock and see if we can go south. Otherwise, I'm just gonna move on. Hidden quests are cool and all, but I would like to unhide them at some point. Mm, we might actually have to go back that way. Okay. Oh, as unappealing as this sounds, I'm gonna have to go back in where the centaurs were. Cool. A little body horror for your Sunday afternoon. Gross. Starting combat. Just kidding. <sighs> it's, yeah. I don't even know what to say about that. I don't know. A little body horror is okay, but there are definitely oh, some things that eke me out a little bit. Like, extra much. I don't know. Maybe it's like the weird... It's the tentacles coming out of the mouth, which are big words from someone whose favorite movie franchise is Alien. Yeah. Okay. Um... So I think that's an NCR camp down here. Uh, Hidden Valley. No, that's a uh, Brotherhood of Steel. So I don't know where this like super secret caravan guy is running. I don't know guns or whatever chems, but uh... and I wonder how I lose my companions all the time. Uh, it's probably just a scorpion. Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Kind of going down through my list of um, 
hidden quests. And uh, yeah. Ooh, did I get myself all screwed up here? I may have. Uh, okay. <laughs> As I'm like. <sighs> Ooh. Let's do a little savorino here. Hello everyone. It is a spicy Sunday afternoon here. Hope everybody is well. So I've got my list of um, hidden quests before we close out the main quest and that's the game. Uh, let me just like look for a few fun things. Supposedly uh, north of... Um, uh, Erepcon, that's what it is. Uh, apparently north of Erepcon, there's supposed to be, um, like a guy who has a, some kind of, he's trying to get a side hustle going, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's not working out for him. So I was hoping we were going to find it. So far we've just been fighting scorpions and stuff. Oh, and centaurs with the... So, super gross. But that's okay because. Good boys and girls take their medics. This one looks pretty really tough. But we now have a uh, rad scorpion gland. Fighting so, over. I do believe we can go and have uh, Vicky make us a casserole. Alright, so who's this? Dead Prospector. Well, uh, hey, so I don't know if this is going to work or not, um, but we finally went to the prison and found the guy who I guess is actually supposed to, should have been the sheriff in Prim. And he's like, oh yeah, I don't know if the NCR is going to be okay with me, you know, whatever's, but, um, I grabbed some clothes that aren't. You know, obviously prison clothes. I don't know if we can give them to him and just be like, all right, guy, you're on your own. Change your name or whatever. Because I don't think anyone's checking ID out here. This one looks pretty good. Uh, also, last game, uh, I found a scope for my 44 and... Um, I've been using the Fighting heck out of over. it. It's It's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's got way more bang for its buck than a lot of the other one-handed weapons. Um, and uh, yeah, um, it's, it's a good time. So we are technically in Scorpion Gulch, um, which is aptly named. Yeah. So I guess we'll head our way south towards Repcon and uh, we'll give it one sweep. And if we don't find him, we're going to head back to Prim uh, because I believe Vicky said that she would I bet no one has ever been us as unnoticed as me. snacks. Horrible, cursed scorpion snacks, but snacks nonetheless. So, I don't really know how we're supposed to get there from here, but we're going to go this way. We did find a grave site, like an unmarked grave site, and found some ammo. So that's always good stuff. Um, but I do think maybe next week will be the last week that we do any of this hidden stuff. Um, we'll do the, uh, 
hard. What is this? Uh, hard luck blues. Um, and then move on to the last phases of the main quest. We have taken Mr. House's um, robot army away from him uh, and made it our own. So what comes next is what comes next for him. Uh, the week before, we also uh, did away with um, Kaiser and uh, his army at the main camp. Whoa. Fighting over. Fighting is over, apparently. All right. Um, I'm over it. Let's go to Prim. <laughs> Um, uh, my attention span does not exist. Oh, it's Ruby, not Vicky. Same Vicky and Ben. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Hey, Rad Scorpion Venom Casserole. Does sound good, don't it? How many Rad Scorpion glands you got? I have a bunch. Is that right? Then hand them over and I'll get to baking a whole batch of casseroles. I would like some, please. Does sound good. Oh. Guess you'll be... Goodbye. Wait. Hold on. Did she? Oh, we did get uh, two rads, two HP over 30 seconds. Two HP. Hmm. All right. Well, that feels all right. All right. Um, I guess we could start Hard World Blues or whatever. Is there anything else we want to do? Yeah, let's do that. Now, one thing we do have this time that we Technically, it's impossible to overdose on painkillers. Time to fight. All right, I guess it is. These fools are running around. You have no leader. Oh my gosh. These guys, though. Well, we got a perk for it. Uh oh. find some uh, ammo before we go into that bunker. from Skyrim. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a uh, that's actually our first game uh, I started streaming uh, on here. So, also hi, creepies, welcome to the stream. 
um, we're kind of just rounding out New Vegas. Uh, there's a really kind of sad quest I started at the very beginning of all this, and um, I guess that's uh, going to be the last one we do before finishing it all out. So, um, all right. Well, you know what? Before we start really getting into this here, let's save. And then let's sell what we can for some ammo and call it done. I think, hey, Boone's making his way to us. Finally. Where did this fool go? Is it this way? This way? Oh, man. I'm going farther and farther away. I lost Boone earlier and uh yeah, that's my fault. <laughs> um so I guess Eddie can fix up I was playing Skyrim and then this one time Lydia was standing at the very edge of a clip and my Fuspo doll was fully charged. Ooh yeah. Um I've definitely done where, like, I've gotten really kind of, especially, like, playing on, you know, like, a console, like, playing with a controller, you're and you're just, like, chilling, whatever, getting a little drowsy, and I've definitely, like, just unrelenting force, like, just straight through, you know, Windhelm or something, and just, like, everyone gets really mad when you do that. Whoopsie. Yeah. Oh man, it's rough. Let me tell you. Uh, so this week I decided I was going to like give Kingdom Come Deliverance like another chance. I got it for my birthday when it came out like five years ago. And I hated the lockpicking minigame. Everyone hates the lockpicking minigame. It's awful. It might be the worst in any RPG I've ever played. And, okay, oh, Eddie's following me. And I was like, okay, whatever, they've patched it. I, you know, uh, work slow, whatever. So uh, it's gonna be cool. Like, this is just what I'm gonna have going on in the background. We'll, you know, I like the little history tidbits and whatever, it'll be great. So <laughs> I've made it to the end of the first chapter. I'm like, no. No, I'm good. Y'all see Boone on this list, right? Like right here, he's right there. It says, I don't know about that. I guess though, if you're the one who, uh, you know, does away with your, uh, with your follower, at least you can get a new one. All right. It says Boone is like right here. Aerotech? Okay. Hold on. Hold on guys. So it said that that caravan guy, the guy who's trying to run his own caravan, that it was at the Aerotech office to the north of Repcon. Repcon is down here. Now, while I understand technically this is north of Repcon, they could have said north of literally anything else and it would have been more accurate absolutely okay let's go ahead and save especially now that we know that uh boone has started to pathfind his way up here uh so yeah i'm gonna say two more weeks um it's basically uh skyrim with guns okay so 
for those who haven't been following along, um, prior to this playthrough, I had only ever played about two hours of Fallout, and I'll admit, I was a much weaker gamer at that point. Um, and I was like, nah, this isn't for me. I'm really bad at anything with guns, whatever. And I still kind of am, but that's fine. <laughs> um, it has more in common with Oblivion. <laughs> oh, you're just being nice. Either that or you're being sarcastic. Um, thank you though. Um, it has more in common with Oblivion, but it's only because Obsidian, I mean, it's still kind of Bethesda, but, um, Obsidian put this out very, um, put this out after Bethesda put out Oblivion. And even if you look, uh, I don't know where Boone is. It says he's here. I don't believe it, but that's cool. He'll catch up. But anyway, I would say we still have potato faces, uh, in this game, but it's not nearly as bad. Um, let me see if I can find the NPC I can show you. Here we go. We got some NPCs right here. Um, see what Oh, those guys are cool. So the faces are a little potato-y, but it's not nearly as bad. Okay, I hate to do this, but I'm almost out of beverage. So yeah, no, they're not great. Let me top off my beverage. I will be back. Um, it's also very hot in here. I don't want to crack the door. Um, but when we come back, we, I guess we will tackle this. I wasn't planning on this, but, uh, for those who are following along, I think we're going to have two more weeks, maybe, uh, fallout. Um, and then we will go on potato and mashed potato precisely. Um, and then I think we'll be moving on to modded Morrowind. So give me a minute. Um, I will be back. I just, it's a little bit warm and I'm very thirsty. All right. Thanks for being patient guys. It is, it is spicy here. Uh, potato and mashed potato because of the ghoul guy. I will see your mashed potato and I will raise you a potato au gratin. Uh, Greepies. All right. Let's just... My scratchy does match my shirt. Uh, well, giraffe, you know, it's spicy when I put all of my hair up. It is very... I bet no one has ever been as unnoticed as Very me. hot here. Is that Boone? That S-O-B. No, that's not Boone. That's just some dude. Okay. I know I'm not crazy. Boone's just been wandering around. It's just wandering around. He's just wandering around. I don't know. It's fine. I'm just a little annoyed. <sighs> Whatever. Playing catch up. Can't can't jump on the boulders like a cool guy. <laughs> All right. Uh and as a for those just joining, this is a uh kind of an unusual deviation. No iced tea today. It's uh about 40 degrees or just about a hundred here in central California. It's toasty. So today is a lazy margarita Sunday. So that's what we're doing today. Kind of matches my shirt. <laughs> All right. It, if, yeah, it's literally like some lemon juice spirits and then just like seltzer water like flavored lime flavored seltzer so so it's probably like watered down to a normal margarita but it's just it's a good day like today would be a good day to go to the pool all right I feel your pain from SoCal, but today we get a bit break with a bit of a cloudy day. Oh, that's nice. I've only been to SoCal once to uh, go to Anaheim. So 
Um, I'm originally from PA, so different kind of summer. Cooler, but way, way more humid. <laughs> so, but I've been out here a long time, so I can complain about the heat. <laughs> Although I, uh, Pennsylvania, yeah, I'm originally from the Philly area. Oh, I don't want a Nuka Cola if it's not Sunset Sarsaparilla. Sunset Sarsaparilla. I don't want it. I don't want it. See, that's how that's how you know it's like that's how you know you're meeting someone who legit grew up there because it's not Pennsylvania or anything. No, it, it's PA. It's PA. <laughs> All right, so supposedly there's a guy in here who's got a quest, but maybe it's not this building. Yeah, it just mostly looks like cram. <laughs> Is it always sunny there? Um, no. <laughs> um, Although I would say that the show is pretty decent. Um, I, I think there's this like, I think there's this idea that um, like people on the East Coast are, are mean, but they're kind. And if people are from the West Coast, they're kind, but they're not nice. So like, take that. Um, I would say by and large that's true, although I think at least here in Central California people are genuinely just nice um, by comparison. I heard that show was originally going to be about Hollywood actors. That doesn't surprise me. Um, it's an interesting cast, that's for sure. Captain Parker. The agent being wiped out at Nelson gave us some breathing room. Hopefully the brass will use that. What is this place? This here's where folks go when their luck runs out. Drifters up from the Republic, locals that can't turn a dime, drunken reprobates from all around. And if you don't have the caps to get onto the strip, odds are you'll end up here. Sounds like a chaotic place. Is there any way I can help? Well, I am a little short staffed. Maybe you could give me a hand. Some people have gone missing from the camp lately. I haven't seen any signs of violence or heard about any feuds. They just up and vanished. And I've also got Keith and his gambling to deal with. There we go. I know that skunk's cheating folk out of their savings. I just can't prove it. All right, tell me about the missing people. They never seem to have much in common. That's why I didn't notice it sooner. Young folks, old folks, men, women, all disappearing. I remember a family with a little blonde girl. Never talked much, but she always carried this little stuffed teddy bear. You know what, though? I'm kind of glad It's Sunny turned out to be exactly what it did. Also, like, Danny DeVito is an absolute just, like, treasure. Can you remember anything else? Seem to recall a lot of them did business with those scavengers over on the west side. Dermot, St. James. Tell me about Keith. Keith's a two-bit hustler. He runs a gambling operation out of his shack. Ask me, he wins way too often to be playing fair. I suspect he's running drugs, too. I just can't prove it. Maybe you can find something. Talk to him, poke around his shack, something. Who are you? Captain Parker. I'm in charge of this camp. Tell me about those disappearances again. Some people have gone missing from the camp lately. I haven't seen any signs of violence or heard about any feuds. They just up and left. I remember hearing some of the missing folks were doing business with Dermot and St. James. A couple of scavengers Westside. from Westside. Okay, cool. Um, so speaking of like quirky shows, uh, I've started, I restarted uh, What We Do in the Shadows and giving it a second chance. Um, I kind of missed the like... 
like the break the fourth wall um like office kind of aspect of it like didn't catch on to it right away this is what happens if i have something playing when i'm working is sometimes i kind of miss details that are important um so i'm giving that a second try and i'm really enjoying it bert gunnerson the locals the nephi has passed on i truly hope his soul finds peace what's the deal with all the refugees poor lost souls most of them they thought to come to New Vegas and find their fortunes on its shining strip. But the journey is often long, and the price to enter the city is steep. Those who could not pay ended up here, hoping to earn the caps they need. Some find honest labor, but more fritter away what little they've saved on crooked gambling and cheap liquor. Still, I minister to them as I can. I think the ghouls are super interesting because some of them are just straight feral and some of them are, you know, perfectly like cogent and um, they're just different looking humans. What do you do? I give what aid and comfort I can. I have oh, I wonder if he's with the followers, the followers of the apocalypse, if that's what he means. Can you heal me? I would be happy to. What I can do isn't much, but I give it freely. Fade to black. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm a little stuck. Welcome, sister. How can I help you? Where are the ghoulettes at? Oh, uh, we've met a couple ghoulettes, if you would. Um, they're around. Um, I've seen most of them kind of in the strip area, um, but they are heal here. All right, I think that's it for that. Fair Let's go ahead friend. and save. Um, I would say if you um, are interested in playing some of these older games, remember that um, they're they're kind of a little buggy. So uh, just uh, keep that in mind. Um, I turned off auto saves for that reason. Um, okay, we're gonna turn off Hard Luck Blues. We are going to do that. Um, so that's the goal. We're gonna do little. We'll, this will be our last location for like, um, like hidden quests. I think we'll just call it done. Uh, next week we're going to focus on hard luck blues and, um, yeah, so we'll say two more weeks after this, that gives me time to also play test some of the, uh, quality of life mods for Morrowinds. And, uh, yeah, so I think three weeks from now we'll be starting, uh, modded Morrowind. Um, and those who joined the stream a little later, uh, I did add a third stream to the stream schedule, uh, kind of for now at least. Uh, we played um, I Am Future yesterday, and uh, I think everybody had a very chill, cozy time. So I'm going to leave that on as a second stream on Saturdays. And uh, it's kind of going to be one of those, like, watch this space for some other cozy things, I think. Oh. Oh, that's a bench. I thought it was, like, a grate. Okay, hold on. Goon is just, like, there. I don't know why. Starting combat. Just kidding. <sighs> okay, so we picked up this like smart suit. Show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. We picked up this smart suit uh, when we were in the big empty, and while it's a very cool stealth suit, it's the stealth Mach Two. Um, the voice companion sucks. Did he sink into the ground? Maybe. Um, but he also got himself loose from some rocks, so. That beam leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Wait, did he just slap himself in the face? Because I think he did. Alright. Um. I mean, that's very possible. Weird stuff does happen. Um. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Okay, so that's Bert. And that's Captain Parker. Um, all right, so 
let's go to Miguel's pawn shop. Also, we have some loot to drop, which would probably be really smart. Um, West Side Militia, huh? Uh, all right. You may not be wrong, because it shows that he's behind us. And, okay, we're going to see. Is there anything to repair here? I don't think so. Um, look. It shows Boone, like, just off to the side all the time. He may have clipped into the world. But that also means he might be able to clip his way out as well. Uh, wait. The pawn shop is right here. Um, so what does, so we need like 45 ammo, um, Miguel, to do business? mi amigo, what do you have for sale? Of course. Um, Boone is one of the only characters I recognize from the other playthroughs. It's because he's a solid follower. He really is. Um, he just is. I, I'm not. There's no real way around that. Um, okay, we're gonna get rid of the 10 mil pistol. Um, we're gonna get rid of the submachine gun. I haven't found a real purpose for it. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting, like, there's an interesting side quest with him. Um, also, his beret is one of the, if you're playing, if you're not playing a super strong character, his beret is a really nice uh, feature, um, which is nice. Okay, we haven't used a submachine gun for basically anything. Those guys are all fine. And we picked up this breathing mask in the last DLC, so I'm going to hold on to that. Um, I think it's going to be helpful when we do um, Hard Time Blues. Um, that's something that we didn't have before, but we will have now. So I really like that. Okay, let's get rid of this. Uh, the energy cells, and then we'll see what kind of uh, stuff we... I don't need that. We're not doing... Um, Survival, so I don't need that stuff. Hatchet, we're gonna get rid of. Does he have 45? We'll find out. Um, I haven't really used much in the way of explosives. Um, we'll keep the Mentats, because we're smart, but we're not that smart. <laughs> uh, we'll sell these two. Uh, sorry, Ruby, but... Your ca I will tell you that your your casserole was delicious. It's fine. Um, okay, we didn't need to heal that. We'll keep our stealth boys until the very end. We're going to keep the storm chaser hat. We also picked up some other clothes that we're going to hold on to. I'd like to find out if we can give those clothes to the sheriff. Okay. Uh, we'll take these. Um, oh, he doesn't have any 45 rounds, though. Uh, we will take the 9 mil, though. Uh, we need them for something. Take your bobby pins. Dino toys! Lever action shotgun. That, I mean, the shotty has been fun, but we haven't really used it a ton. Uh, we're just going to accept whatever that is. At the very least, we've Pleasure emptied out our inventory. Until next time. Oh, yeah, that's way better. Okay, cool. Let's save here. Um, and then we're going to go on walkabout, I guess. Weebies, I think you're right. I think it is very possible that Boone clipped into the world 
And he's just kind of stuck there for the moment. So. It's probably from me jumping around, but um, it's fine. We'll do all right. Uh, quests, coyotes, travel to Westside and speak to St. James about missing refugees. Uh, Westside Co-op. I'm glad mean son of a bitch is on our side. Yeah, I, I wish there was like more to mean son of a bitch because I think he'd be, I don't know. I think it's because we've met some other super mutants that were really cool. Um, so yeah. Etienne. Welcome back. How can I help you? Uh, nope. See you later. So he doesn't know anything. St. James. So he might be on the second floor or something. Or he's behind this place. Okay. Now that, like, we we're able to click on all those, like, Ralphie posters in the DLC, I'm kind of bummed out that we can't, like... Okay, that's Dermot. That's St. James. Let's talk to Dermot first. I got nothing you need. If it's ass you're looking for, talk to Pretty Sarah. Oh, we've met Pretty Sarah. What do you do around here? Me and my partner, St. James, work salvage around Westside. That's all. Why is your partner called St. James? Because it's his name. He may be high strong, but he's all right. All says half a scrap, which is all I need. Yeah. Beat. Ooh, he's prickly. I like him. I also like his police hat. So Dermot uses a power fist. Interesting choice of weapon. When I talk to a girl, I start the conversation, and I didn't start no conversation with you. Oh, buddy, we are going to have some conversations with you, like it or not. Now, some people are gonna have gone missing and they were last seen dealing with you. Okay, you know what? Let's uh let's let's start a little friendlier. What do you do around here, St. James? Me and Dermot work salvage around New Vegas. So tell me about Dermot. What do you even mean? He's Dermot. Dermot knows how to work salvage better than any man I ever met. Doesn't go asking questions all day neither. Some people have gone missing and they're last seen dealing with you. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that area. Oh I didn't say Aerotech, did I? I didn't mention Aerotech. Yeah, well, I must have heard rumors. Uh, fuck you, you got nothing on me and Dermot. At the Casa Madrid ho at, um, Apartments. Okay, so we've been there and we actually, like, moused over some rooms. Um, and I'm pretty sure I was like, oh, I bet this is part of a quest. They're part of a quest. Okay. Hey, it's pretty Sarah. You can just talk to the whores, you know. You and me, we don't need to talk unless there's trouble. You know where to find me. Um, should I be concerned that that guy's just like running out of a brothel? Like, no problem? Am I going to find a sex worker in a bathtub? Because I'm concerned now. Maybe we're going up to the second floor. Okay, it's going to be a room that has a, like a locked door. Maybe like this one? Um, yeah, we'll start with this one. Um, a lot of sounds in this hallway. Okay. Just, just kind of curious. We've seen some interesting things. I don't know who I'm losing karma with, but...
Look, it's the future. I assume that, like... I don't know if, like, transhumanism is, like, really part of this future, but considering all the weird, freaky things we've seen... Hey, it's Maud. Been enjoying your time at the Casa? Uh, what do you know about Dermot and St. James? Those boys been living here a while now. They sell salvage and do all right. I never been with either of them. That St. James is all over Sweetie every time he rustles up the caps to a border. Interesting. He's peculiar, but who isn't? Uh, thanks. Good luck. Sweetie, huh? She's the, she's the young one, right? And that's Watch Jimmy. Out, You're my best friend forever. Still wasting your time in this pit, honey. Uh, yes. See you. Bye. I was hoping he would be helpful, but he's not. Hey, it's Sweetie. Hi again. You here to play? Um. Any chance you could help me get into St. James's room? I do have his spare key, but I'm not sure if he'd like it if I let you in there. St. James can be a little crazy sometimes. Uh, I'll pay you for the key. We can come to a deal. My price is firm, though. St. James is a good customer, and it better be worth it if I'm going to lose it. There you go. And here's your key. Does St. James pay you for anything unusual? A client's got a right to privacy, so it'll cost 200 caps for me to tell you all about it. Easy. Uh, let's say 100 caps, or you could earn zero keeping your mouth shut. Funny how I make caps every time I open my mouth. Ew! Office, that's for sure. Never wants me to say a thing or for me to move around either. Ew. Lately, he brings a teddy bear with him and props it on the bed like it's watching us. Ugh, it's creepy as hell. Not the worst I ever been with. But more a pervert than most. Do you know St. James? Sure do. St. James is my number one customer. He's a prospect who pays Marco to stay here at the Casa week to week. I don't know why his friend Dermot chose to stay here. He's never been with me or nobody else. But St. James likes having me close at hand. Uh, thanks for your services, sweetie. You know you'll be back. Good to know. Good time to save, too. So their rooms must be on the first floor, and I just, yeah. Again, it's gotta be something that's locked. Uh huh. Well, that's a closed door. That's not a locked door. There we go. Let's go ahead and close the door just in case we do something crazy. We're going to take the teddy bear, though. Ooh, he's got an at atomic cocktail. Those things are great. I mean, they're worth the they're worth the rads, depending on the situation you're in. Dermot's ledger. Okay, let's check out this ledger. Is it in here or is it under data? I always forget. Dermot's ledger. Going to be a little different than the one I kept for hauling scrap. Ha ha. But I've always been a strong believer in keeping straight books. To motor runner, teen girl, 500 caps. Adult man, 38. Zero caps. True to his word, paid top money for the girl, plus bonus for first delivery. But paid nothing for girl's father who took a swing at him when untied. Got to keep him more secured. Also kept St. James off the girls as even fiends don't want used goods. Ew! To motor runner, adult woman, 28, 250 caps. Old woman, 25 caps. Old man, 25 caps. Baby boy? Ew! I mean, I know it's a horrible future, but still. 
Got to be more careful of selecting what we deliver. Brenner liked the women, of course, but the baby is worthless except to make sure the women, woman does as she is told. Her parents next to worthless could have killed and left them. On the bright side, Runner said, says we can start dealing with fiends closer by, so no more dragging folks all the way to Vault 3. Is that why Vault 3 is a discoverable? Because I think Vault 3 is on our radar, isn't it? Vault 3 is definitely on our radar. Okay. So let's save. I think we have some choices here. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Found some uh, disgusting human beings in the, uh, in the wastes, of course. All right. Um, Captain Parker at the Aerotech Office Park wants you to find evidence that Keith is running crooked gambling involved with drug running. Okay, cool. We'll come back to that. Um, oh, maybe it's, maybe Vault 3 isn't on here. I thought we had Vault 3 on our list. Um... Let's just see what this marker is out here. The absolute F was that. I don't know about all that, guys. Things are getting stranger every day. Man, you're not kidding. What's up? Okay. Sorry that, like... <laughs> Oh my goodness, especially after uh, completing uh, Lonesome Road, like, oof. I'm like, d is there like a, t is there like a countdown that I didn't know about? I feel like we should be reporting back just in case. Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. We are uh, wrapping up our last, um kind of hidden quest uh in new vegas um i'm thinking maybe two more weeks in new vegas we're gonna do hard luck blues um which is a quest i started really early on in this playthrough um and then on to the final phases of the main quest hey that's bert that's captain Word parker on the east side is that you took out some major players in the fiends and that should make life safer for a lot of people um, does he have any more exchanges? Okay, he does not. See ya. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go to Miguel's. Yeah, let's look at our local map. Let's look at what our choices are. Um... I guess we'll go to the co-op and shake them down. Let's save. I'm gonna down some Mentats just in case. Um, but like, I think I think we can agree that um, St. James is a POS. So we, I mean, we set off a nuclear warhead because. Uh, I got some feelings about the fact that the that the Legion are slavers, so this guy literally selling people into, um, like literally trafficking people isn't going to go well for him. We got to go through this again? What's it about this time? Look what I found in your room. What are you doing stealing my stuff? That ain't even mine. I mean, it's mine, but it's private. Give it back. Hell, don't give it back. I don't care. Just found it when we was working salvage and thought I'd save it to give to some kid if one came by. We 
gotta go through this again. Found your ledger. You got his book? Dermot, this bitch got your book. She got your book. Ready? Steady. Fighty. You know what? Let's you know let's get down and dirty. I guess not. Fighting over. Hey, I earned uh I earned this uh bear claw. I mean for lack of a better term. So I'm gonna use it. Um we'll take this and the jet. Disgusting. Human traffickers. Ooh. And a sunset sarsaparilla. Things are coming up Millhouse. I know it's like a term that's sarcastic, but still. Okay. All right, I can tell him what happened to the refugees. Um. and gambling. Hmm. Okay. So let's go back to the Aerotech office. How are we idolized at the Aerotech office? Probably because of our reputation with the NCR. Look, I'm not saying that the NCR are great. They're just, I mean, they're just a bunch of bureaucrats, but like, they're not slavers. <laughs> I feel like my bar is really low. Okay, we've been in Suite 300, though. And there's just, like, this burnt-out robot. Guy, your, like, hideout kind of sucks. Is this a door? No? I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's a door over there, though. We gotta investigate Keith. Hey. The fiends are running for their lives. That'll show everyone what we do to our enemies. Junkies. Okay. Ah, oh, why is the post apocalypse so dirty? It is, though. Like, let's be honest. It's pretty gross in here. Okay. We don't need anything here. And I'd rather not screw up my reputation. I'm just shy of our final battle. So. I don't really see anything. Okay. Mm, this is a place with the vending machine. Nothing in there. Looks like NCR Rangers deserve all my praise. What's this? A toilet. I was hoping it would actually take us somewhere. Mentats have worn off. Well, junky, junky. This person's Keith. Hey there. Fancy a game of caravan? Gambling's not my scene. Maybe you could hook me up with something medicinal? Oh, I get you. Looking for a slightly more chemical thrill? Okay, I'll tell you what. I happen to keep some jet around for emergencies. Uh, 35 caps in the choice. I'll take it. And here you go. Enjoy, my friend. I've run some cons in my day. One clever bastard to another. What's your trick? You know how they say you make your own luck? Well, let's just say I make mine with a little extra ink on the cards. 
Mark cards, huh? A little bit obvious, but not bad. Hey, it's not like I use them all the time. Mostly I keep them in my shack until I see a really fat score roll into town. Who are you? Name's Keith. You feeling lucky? I got games of chance, games of skill, games of you name it. Wanna win a little cash? I think I'll pass for now. Your loss. Okay, I don't know how to play caravan, but I feel like this is our opportunity to at least try. You got it. Oh, we don't have 30 cards though. Okay. So this is Keith. I don't know how I feel about that. Hey there. Fancy a game of caravan? Bye. Come on back if you want a game. Okay, so let's save. Can I I just want to look in his pocket. Okay. I just want to look in his pockets. Okay. All right, let's look at our local map. Okay, so we are going outside now. Yeah, so Keith is definitely selling drugs, playing little cards. I don't like it, but he's not selling people. Hey Parker. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can something I can help you with, stranger. Um, I got proof Keith is selling drugs and using mark cards. Drugs and crooked gambling? Can't say I'm surprised. Here, you've earned this. I'm gonna go take Keith into custody. If you're interested in a little extra pay, I wouldn't mind backup. Sure, why not? Glad to have you. Let's go. Just stick close and follow my lead. Keith's a cowardly son of a bitch, but he might try something if he's desperate. Uh, what do we want to use? Uh, yeah, a silence pistol seems good. Don't want to rowl up the tweakers at all. All right. Bro, are you coming out or what? Go with Captain Parker to arrest Keith. It's interesting that it's like, um, it's like a side quest, but, and it doesn't have markers, but it's the first time we've ever had so much information in our miscellaneous log about a hidden quest. It's very cool. Very cool. Dude, are you coming? Ah, <laughs> uh, he's so slow. Okay. Maybe we can speed things up a little bit. No, we can't. We absolutely cannot. That's a machete. Perfect. And then, of course, we'll let him know what happened with our trafficker friends. Can we just arrest Keith, please? Hey there. Fancy a game of caravan? Bye. Come on back if you want a game. I just want to arrest Keith and be done with it. Also, I don't know if I was paying attention. Did Eddie's color change when he got his upgrade? 
I feel like he was all silver and now he's like gold parts, but maybe that's just my imagination. I just wasn't paying attention. Bro, what are you doing? You're my best friend forever. I mean, I'm your only friend, but cool. Dude, are we gonna arrest this guy or what? Have you found out what happened to the- Yeah, uh, St. James and Dermot were behind it. They're dead now. How do you know? Did you find proof? I found this evidence in their rooms. They attacked when I confronted them. Oh, sick bastards. Can't say I'll shed any tears for them. Here, you've earned this. Wait, are we arresting? Good to see you. Something else? Get see ya. Wait, are we arresting Keith or not? I'm gonna save and I think we're just going to do away with Keith. Because Keith sucks. I mean, okay, like, maybe the drugs are one thing, but, like... We'll try one more time. Otherwise, I'm just going to call it done. We're going to do with Keith, way with Keith, and um, next time we'll pick up with Hard Luck Blues. Good to see you. All right. Well, we saved. If this, if this goes poorly, it's fine. All right. I feel satisfied now. All right. Yeah, um, not really sure what's going on there. All right, Hard Luck Blues, this is where we're going to start next time. Um, yeah. I feel like we have plenty of, uh, like, anti-rad sort of stuff. And uh, we have this like cool, let me show you guys, if you weren't here for the DLC. We have this breathing mask that gives us a little bit of rads resistance, but you know what? We got a couple minutes left on the stream. Let's go ahead and go down to the prison and see if we can give our buddy like some clothes. If we can't, it's not a huge loss. But it'd be cool if we could just be like, hey, uh, here's some clothes. Need to talk about something? Uh, what did you do? Um. That was a shit. Okay. Right. All right. Okay, so we can't give him anything. That's a real bummer. Um, it would have been cool if we could have just, like, given him clothes and just be like, oh, yeah, um. You can just go on your merry way, man. Uh, all right. So we're going to go to the vault where the um, sharecroppers are getting their water from. Um, and we're just going to pick up with Hard Luck Blues the next time we get started. And then on to the main quest. The end of the main quest.
it's kind of a bummer that you finish the main quest in this game and that's kind of it you can't do anything else but i kind of get it it just sucks also i hate knowing that there's really no happy ending for this quest but Aw, uh, thank you so much for hanging out, Mega Terranova. You have a great week, too. And you also stay cool or dry or, you know. <laughs> I saw that the uh, Midwest is going to get hammered with some really dangerous weather. And um, my debt heart goes out for the folks living in Maui. Like, that is just awful. So... <sighs> be thankful for what you have guys because shit mother nature is unkind to begin with and we've really made a mess of things so <sighs> what can i say well this episode hasn't taught us anything is that uh other than just human nature is kind of crap all right guys we have found vault 34 and this is where we will pick up next week with hard luck blues and then all more to the main quest so thank you guys so much for hanging out i appreciate each and one of you for coming and hanging out with me and spending your time with me um yeah uh so one new stream slot has been added to the week so hopefully i'll see some of you for yakuza 0 6 a.m pacific time next saturday if not 12 p.m pacific time for more i am future and then we'll be back here next sunday for more fallout new vegas so in the meantime guys please take care of yourselves and each other and happy sipping bye guys <laughs>